What's up guys? In this episode, I am going to be talking about the Clubhouse app. This app is taking the world by storm. How to get on it, what's in it, how to start your first club. I'm going to go through the app in detail, what I like and what I don't like. If you're a creator, if you're someone who's looking to get on the next social media trend, this episode's for you. Let's start right now. Getting right into this episode, Clubhouse has been very exclusive and that's how they've grown so exponentially and so fast. Over 300 million people are on the app already. It's an audio only app that I am calling a mini podcast app. It allows you to be in conversations with the people and in the industries that you want to get value from. Now to get in the app right now, you need to get an invite. The first thing I'm going to tell you in this episode is to go reserve your username if you're not already in Clubhouse. I'm going to put a screenshot right here. You just get in, you put in your phone information and you reserve your username the same as you have on other platforms so that you can keep that unified presence across all the social media mm -hmm. platforms that you are on. After that, it's time to wait. It's time to wait for that person that's going to invite you. They're forever going to be cemented on your profile. Whoever invites you stays there. So it's one of the reasons Clubhouse has grown. Mm -hmm. They've really incentivized people to invite celebrities, invite big names, invite people already with audiences. So everyone that you want to listen to, there's a good chance they're already on Clubhouse and they're already making content. Everyone gets two invites once they're in the app, but if you do sign up with your phone number and reserve your username, sometimes the app will notify you when someone within your sphere does that and it'll allow you to invite them or let them in as the notification says without using up one of those valuable two invites. Now some of the things I love about this app so far is it's just simple. It's easy to use. I'll bring up some screenshots here. Categories are great. The ability to start a hangout is great. Your timeline, your your profile, you can connect your Instagram, you can connect your Twitter, you can use a long description. Mine's not long yet, but you can add a lot of information about yourself. I love those things. Mm -hmm. The simpler this app is to use, the more it contrasts itself from the other platforms that are out there. You get so much noise on Facebook or on LinkedIn right now. And on this app, there's none of that. All you gotta do is listen, get value, and understand it allows you to do it on the go, put in your AirPods and go for a run and listen to your influencers. And I think that's really powerful. That's why this app is going to take the world by storm. There is no question about it. Now, one of the things I don't like about the app so far is there's still limitations. It's iOS only. Also the other day, Elon Musk was talking. I set a notification. I put it in my calendar right here. I was watching it right until the time when he came on. It was 10 p.m. he was coming on, I believe, or 9 p.m. And as soon as it happened, I clicked on it. And this is what happened right here. You cannot get in this room, it's already full. The servers are full. You've clicked too many times. I clicked for 20 minutes straight trying to listen to Elon Musk in this group. I couldn't get in. Groups right now can have about 5,000 people in them. And it was about 50, 600, I think it was overflowed at that time. And you gotta wait till people leave before you can get back in. So that was a little disappointing. I think Clubhouse has to allow more people to listen to the people that they, they want to. And even though everything about this app feels exclusive and being in that group would have felt great, they're gonna have to open it up as more people get on the app and as more people want to listen to these clubs and be in these clubs. The other thing so far, making a club isn't easy. It's okay though, I like that it's hard. I don't think it should get flooded. You can make right now, we'll put the link below of how you make a club and um, I'll just show you guys here on a, on a screen recording. But making a club's on a separate link. You can make one right now and you have to, or it says that priority goes to someone who's already hosted three shows. To host a show yourself, it's not just about starting a room. You're gonna click on the calendar up here and then you're gonna click a time, which is gonna bring this up. Again, I'll put a screen recording right here so you guys can check it out. That's how you're gonna make your first meetings. Now, 
I have tested it. The organic reach is, in my opinion, low so far in comparison to other apps, but get it started, do your three, and then pick the club that's going to make the biggest difference for your niche and for the content you already make on other platforms. Get that show going. Other things when you're in here, you can explore. It's really easy when you select your categories to explore for more conversations that you want to be involved in. Notifications have this nice sliding tab if you want low, medium, or high notifications. I love that. And other than that, once your friends in your group start to get invited and everyone's on, it's going to also be a great place to have conversations and just start private rooms. So I'm really liking what Clubhouse is so far. Again, simple, simple to use, simple to understand, low noise. I like that. And it's going to take the world by storm. So if you're a creator, if you're a small business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're anyone who's interested in social media, right now you got to get onto clubhouse get that invite it's going to make a difference for your brand and at least gain some context on what the platform is already doing that's it for this episode guys i hope you guys got a lot of value from it as always i hope to see you guys in the next episode and smash some buttons below subscribe like dislike you guys know what to do see you guys very soon again that's all for now Last thing guys, in the end annotations, I'll say it one more time. This app is going to be crazy. It's the app of 2021. There's no doubt. I know I've made other videos about apps coming out. I got Vero, I got MeWe below if you guys want to watch them here. But this is the one. This is the app that's going to explode this year. It's going to have TikTok level virality and... Um, uh, I think you guys got to find a way to get on it and start to gain context so that you guys can start your club and gain an audience. Enjoy.